Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. Kenya's presidential race got underway this week after the closure of nomination of candidates in Nairobi on Monday. Eight presidential candidates were successfully nominated, and New Vision TV looks at the two main camps. The incumbent president, Uhuru Kenyatta, has maintained his deputy William Roto as running mate. The Jubilee team is riding high on the crest of the achievements of the last five years, the latest being the launch of the standard gauge railway. This year's battle will be a repeat of the 2013 tight race in which Uhuru Kenyatta narrowly beat opposition ODM leader Raila Odinga, who is now running on the new curiously named NASA ticket, which is the acronym of National Super Alliance. Odinga is keeping Kalonzo, former long-serving foreign minister of the Waipa Democratic Movement, as his running mate. NASA is constituted of five political parties, which are ODM, Waipa, Amani National Congress, ANC, Ford Kenya, and Chama, Chama Shinani. Without wasting any time, the NASA team has already shared out the big posts in case they win. Each of the leaders of the political parties in the alliance will have a big position in the new government, with Odinga as president, Musaliam Davadi, who is ANC's chief, as designated premier cabinet secretary, Moses Watangula and Isaac Kruto, leaders of Ford, Kenya, and CCM respectively, would become Mudavadi's deputies. But critics have pointed out that these posts are unavailable under the Kenyan constitution. Meanwhile, Raila Odinga has said that this time the opposition will tally and announce their own results in the August 8 election. Odinga is widely believed have won the December 2007 elections, which ended in the now notorious post-election violence after the then incumbent, Mike Kibaki, swiftly swore in for another term before the results could be announced. <laughs> You're still watching New Vision TV, and now for a Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at the River Nile. The River Nile is the longest river in the world. This river starts from Jinja in eastern Uganda and flows through West Nile and thereafter joins other countries. It covers over five countries, including Sudan, Burundi, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Ethiopia, among others. The various activities done on the Nile are water rafting, bungee jumping, kayaking, boat rides, as well as fishing. These have attracted large numbers of tourists to Uganda. Take a look. River Nile is well known to be the longest river, not only in Africa, but also in the world. Its source starts right here in Jinja District, located in the eastern part of Uganda. The Lake Victoria happens to be the source of the River Nile as it flows north, connecting six different countries. It flows from the surrounding areas close to the equator to the Safari Desert and up to the eastern Mediterranean Sea. This is a true description of why Uganda is called the Pearl of Africa. It even provides power to Ugandans from the Owen Falls Dam. The dam gives electricity to the country, enabling it to carry out the daily activities. The banks of the Nile are also too fertile, hence favoring agriculture. It is the time of the year when people start discussing where they are going to spend their vacations, their activities to engage in while here, activities like exploring the river banks, passing through the farms, the forests and villages. You can also engage in water rafting, bungee jumping, boat rides, as well as fishing. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.